Welcome to beginner's guide for Outward. In this video I'll give you a couple of tips that will help you in exploring vast world in front of you. Before we even get started, it is very important that you get some good gear early on. I'll leave two links in the description, one that shows where to get fantastic backpack, one of the best in the game, very early on, and another one that shows where to get fantastic halberd also early on. This will immediately decrease carry weight annoyance and improve your chances in combat. Combat guide will be a separate video, so for now we are going to focus on exploring tips. Outward is a very dark game, so I would recommend getting brightness up as much as possible. This helps in orientation in very dark places like caves, dungeons and so on. There are two other ways how we can increase visibility in such places. We can create torches or simply attach lantern to the bag. This is must for any dungeon or cave because even with brightness up it will be very hard to spot things. Using torch or lantern is not the same thing however. Lantern is attached to the bag and it uses oil. To refuel lantern you need to open up crafting menu and combine oil plus the lantern. Benefit of having lantern is that your both hands are free, so you can equip whatever weapon you want and go fight the bastards with full capability. Torch uses one hand, but the benefit of having torch lit is that it increases your body temperature, which is extremely useful in cold weather. Because this is a survival game, food and drinks are very important. I suggest having multiple water flasks that are full in your inventory before setting out, because you can run out of water quite easily. Two water flasks are enough. If you are in a desert, then take three just in case. They can be refilled in every major town, at a fountain or water pump or whatever. There's always some kind of source of clean water in every town. Or you can refill it by finding clean water in the world. Most of the time you'll find river water which is not clean, but you can boil it over campfire. Campfires are quite important because they enable use of cooking recipes, alchemy kits and cooking pot. To create campfire you simply need to gather wood from nearby tree, open up crafting menu, combine tree wood and then light it up with flint and steel. Flint and steel can be bought from any general store. Don't forget that cooking meat or creating any kind of food recipe makes the food last longer. And it can be also used to create travel rations. Crafting menu can be used all the time. Just open it up and combine things that you want. So creating campfires, arrows, torches and other basic things is always an option. Current equipment loses durability when you die and when you use it. To repair it, rest and then simply choose how many hours you wish to spend in repairing equipment. Note that the only thing that you can repair this way is the current equipment. Nothing else in the inventory will be repaired that way. So if you want to repair let's say pickaxe so that you can mine or it needs to be equipped in current equipment section. Upon death you lose some silver. To prevent this from happening, trade silver for gold ingots. They are lighter and they cannot be lost upon death. 100 silver coins equals 1 gold ingot. This price is always fixed, so you don't lose anything by doing this. When you start becoming rich, consider purchasing master trader equipment. That significantly reduces prices of things that you want to buy and also increases prices of things you are selling. Very useful throughout the game. Just make sure to equip those pieces before trading. When opening inventory you can see three sections. Current equipment, pockets and bag. Current equipment is self-explanatory. Bag and pockets have one very important difference to understand. Bag can be dropped during the fight, 
but things that are in the bag cannot be used anymore. That's why we have pockets. Items in pockets can be used during the fight. So I would suggest putting one additional weapon, potions, bandages and so on. Something that you can use to prevent status effects and to heal up on spot. Outward does not have experience points. Instead you learn skills what from trainers. They can be quite expensive, but it is worth investing into active and passive skills because they will increase your survivability by a ton. Last minor tip in this video is about changing lock on target. I have struggled myself figuring this out on PC, but this is how you do it. To change target that you are locked on, you need to flick mouse into the direction where the other enemy that you want to lock on is. So just quickly flick the mouse in the direction and target should switch. That's all for this video, I hope these tips help. I'll also do combat guide as well. So thank you for watching and see you soon.